Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. As always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Man, I am beat, but we've got our live stream coming up 9 o'clock Eastern, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys being here. We have not had the last two weeks because I had a wedding last week, and I had my high school 40th reunion. Yes, I am literally that old uh, two weeks ago, but we are back back as we get ready to take on the lions so we have uh you know we we got some bad news eric kendricks is injured and uh won't be playing this weekend we are stacking up injuries uh to say the least and that's definitely not a good thing next man up hopefully we can find a way to get a win it would be huge if we could and we are truly facing long odds in the meantime my quarterback, Dak Prescott, who literally, it's all on Dak. It's literally on Dak. You know, as Jerry Jones says, we, uh, we only go as far as Dak Prescott will take us because he ain't invested in anybody else to help us go any further. That's, of course, Jerry Jones. But Dak Prescott was featured on TMZ. And um, the funny thing is he was featured on TMZ when he was sued. But I don't remember this much venom here. Actually, let me hang on one second here. Let's change the view. Give it to you a little bit bigger. Here we go. This was TMZ yesterday where they were showing to tear down the house. So Dak Prescott's house. Dak, okay. Dak Prescott's house, uh, $3 million house, incredible house, I'd love to have it, um, but when you have a $231 million fully guaranteed contract, you can rebuild, and you can build it exactly the way you want to, because I, I gotta say, um, the cool thing about doing this red brick house, because we were starting all over as far as the kitchen went, you know, I moved, uh, I switched the door and the window, and I ended up, of course, gutting the whole thing out, okay? Reframed it up, new tile, and I did the layout exactly the way I had it done. And it works perfect for me. Um, not to say that modeling other kitchens, I haven't done stuff that's good. But when you're starting all over, it's really cool to build it with your now, you don't have a vision, you, kind of, you know, you can, you can come up with all kinds of crazy shit that just don't work. But this house is now completely a pile of rubble. Literally. I'd like to have the copper pipes and the wire and stuff because that scrap metal and stuff is worth some money these days. We're almost done watching it go down. I love, love the I love the uh, escalator there. Tactical. It's called tactical. That's it. So I think it's crazy the coverage that. All right, got ahead of myself here. All right, so. I got too many damn screens. So Dak Prescott is kind of like, yo, can I get a little privacy? You know, the coverage on this. Now listen to that. That it got, um, being, just being frank, you know, trying to live, live my, keep my personal life, my personal life, build a home or a place or have a property that, you know, I'm about to raise a daughter and a family there that I truly don't, don't appreciate the drones, the extra videos, and honestly, the conversation of it. I'm super blessed to be able to, to, at this point, build what I want, so um, enough said. The landscape is different from the last time y'all played the So what do you get out of watching the game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying. So you tested me, you tested me. That was nice. That was nice. Uh, one more time, you gotta ask it again. Now the, uh, the, the players are different. Yeah. <laughs> For uh, sure. So what do you get out of watching the game? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, the D.C. hasn't changed. Um, you know, uh, he is who he is and, and very confident in his scheme and what he does. And I think, if anything, that's why the personnel, especially on that back end of the defense, has changed. Uh, for him to be able to, you know, call man more confidently, um, play the coverages that he wants. Um, he's been a great defensive coordinator for a long time. And so okay. 
All right, so stop flying over with drones and stuff over his house and things. Man, come on. He's trying to, you know, he, he wants some privacy. He's got his daughter that he's trying to raise, you know, his girlfriend and everything else. And he wants to go ahead and get this thing built. Um, I'll be honest with you. I had heard about this some time ago um, that he was going to be tearing down the house and rebuilding it. But I kind of like, you know, you, you don't you don't want people to know where you live and you know, driving by and everything else, you know, because there's some crazy people out there, Eagle fans, 49er fans, and so on. And so, um, you know, a little bit of privacy in his home life would be nice. I mean, you know, again, you know, his daughter didn't ask to be into all of this and his girlfriend probably didn't as well. You know, it's one thing to, you know, go through everything that he goes through, the scrutiny and everything else with his job, you know, maybe give him some time, private time with his home and stuff, you know. And let it go. But um, I'm hoping, you know, so many people are always, always, you know, talking about Dak. Dak stinks. He's a choker. This, that. He hasn't had the playoff success and this, that, and the other. I'm going to tell you that when you look around the landscape and I'm looking at quarterbacks that, you know, people deemed as great quarterbacks. And I look at like Cincinnati struggling with Joe Burrow. Okay. And, you know, they're not having a very good season looking at Justin Herbert, who, you know, who after his second season, everybody thought he was going to be Joe Montana where he's come back down to earth. And even Jalen hurts, although they treat him with kid gloves because, you know, it's Nick Sirianni and his play calling or, you know, and, and, and they need to get him out the way so Kellen Moore can call it, you know, where they literally baby him. You know, with Dak, it's like, well, Dak, you know, he sucks. He can't elevate the players around him, this, that, and the other. And I think about guys like Deshaun Watson, who the Cleveland Browns, after paying him his contract, here it is year number three of it, and they're screwed completely because he can't play. He can't play anymore, and they still owe him, after this season, over $140 million fully guaranteed. They can't get rid of him. And, you know, I think about how it was Carson Wentz was the Maserati and Dak Prescott was the Corvette and everything else and how much better Carson Wentz was. All of these guys that have come and gone, you know, from the Kyler Murrays and everything else, and yet this guy is still up there doing great things without the support of his front office to get him weapons. And for all those out there saying that, you know, he has to elevate people. Do you look at the people he was throwing to this weekend? Do you look at, do do, do you look at it and say, man, they got, you know, that they got a George Kittle, that they got a Debo Samuels, they got a Brandon Ayuk. He had CeeDee Lamb. And Jalen Tolbert, until he sprained his effing nuts, was an unknown outside of cowboy land. And I won't even go down the line of the Jalen Brooks and everything else that are there that nobody's heard of. And it's not like we have a great running attack like other teams do. It's Dak. And that's it. So... Get off his back, man, and be thankful that we got that guy. All right, good people. I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.